Hello again. Are you ready for another story? I'm a little bit out of practice, but let's see how we get on. Today, I want to read the story of Grandpa's Face, which is by Eloise Greenfield and illustrated by Floyd Cooper. Here's Grandpa. Tamika loved her grandpa. She loved the quiet way he talked and the surprise of his loud laughter. She loved the stories he told, long stories that he sang and talked a little bit each day until he reached the end. Most of all, Tamika loved Grandpa's face. Grandpa's face told everything about him. He was always changing from glad to worried to funny to sad. Grandpa would ask a question without saying one word, and even when he was mad with Tamika, his face was a good face, and the look of his mouth and eyes told her that he loved her. You shouldn't have done that, Tamika, Grandpa would say, and Tamika would tell him that she was sorry, and then she would kiss the sturdy brown of his face. Sometimes Tamika and Grandpa would go out together, just the two of them. They would leave Mama and Daddy at home and go for a walk. A talk walk, Grandpa called it. They'd walk through the park or just around the neighbourhood and talk about the things they saw and felt and remembered. There they are on their talk walk. In the summer... Grandpa was an actor, and some Saturday afternoons he and his friend, Miss Gladys, would take Tamika to the theatre to watch him act on the stage, if Mama and Daddy said the play wasn't too grown up. The theatre was Tamika's favourite place to go. Make-believe things happened there. She would sit in the front row and watch Grandpa turn into another person, changing his face, and the way he walked and talked and sang. And even when he turned into somebody else's grandpa, Tamika didn't mind. It looked true, and it felt true, but she knew it was just a play. And when it was over, and all the actors came out to bow and bow and wave, she would clap so hard her hands hurt. There's Tamika and Miss Gladys. Can you see Grandpa on the stage? I'm not sure which one he is. One day, Tamika went to Grandpa's room to ask for a story. She stopped at the door because Grandpa was rehearsing. He had his book in his hand and he was reading his lines aloud. And then he stopped reading and looked in the mirror, slowly changing his face into a face that Tamika had never seen before. It was a hard face. It had a tight mouth and cold, cold eyes. It was a face that could never love her or anyone. She doesn't like it, does she? Tamika stood watching as Grandpa changed his face back and read some more lines from his book. And then she went to her room and sat on the bed. Her stomach was filled with scared places that made her want to cry. She had not known that Grandpa could look like that. And now that she did know, she couldn't be sure that he might not someday look at her with that face, that face that could not love. She's sad, isn't she? Poor Tamika. She got out her jigsaw puzzle and played with it quietly until Mama and Daddy had finished cooking. I'd, I'd finished cooking dinner. And then she washed her hands and sat down at the table, but she didn't feel like eating. She felt like doing bad things, all the things that Grandpa didn't like. So she made a hill out of her mashed potatoes and let her green peas roll down the hill. Stop playing with your food, Tamika, Mama said, and eat your dinner. Tamika looked at Grandpa's face 
and it was still the face she knew. So she put a forkful of greens in her glass and watched her water turn a muddy green. And then she tapped on her plate with her spoon while the grown-ups were trying to talk. I think you want to leave the table, Daddy said. No, Daddy, Tamika whined. I think you'd better, Tamika, Daddy said. Go to your room now and you can eat by yourself later. Tamika began to cry a little. She looked at her mother and father, but when she started to look at Grandpa too, she felt the scared places in her stomach again and was too afraid to look. Then she cried harder. She stood up, crying loud and not watching what she was doing. Her hand bumped her glass and knocked it over, sending green water splattering onto Grandpa's shirt and across the tablecloth. <gasps> Oops, there goes the glass and the green water covered by the peas. Tamika, what in the world? Grandpa said. Tamika turned and looked at him then, expecting to see the face she had seen in the mirror. But it was Grandpa's face she saw. Grandpa's mad face, but still it was the one that loved her. Mama and Daddy looked worried. Tamika, Mama said. What's this all about? Tamika hung her head and didn't answer. Stop crying now, Daddy said. He wiped her face while Grandpa went to change his shirt. Then Grandpa came back and took her by the hand. Let's go, he said. Time for a talk walk. Tamika and Grandpa walked towards the park, holding hands. She still looks a bit sad, doesn't she? Now tell me what's wrong, Grandpa said. Tamika's hand felt good inside Grandpa's, but she wasn't sure she felt like talking. She watched the lines in the sidewalk for a little while. Then she said, you have another face, Grandpa. I do, Grandpa said. Uh-huh. I saw it in the mirror, Tamika said. And it was a real mean face, too. They sat down on the grass and Tamika let the words spill out. The mouth is mean and the eyes are mean. And I don't like that face, Grandpa, she said. But that's just pretending, T Tamika, Grandpa said. You know that. But it might not always be pretend, Tamika said. Grandpa thought for a moment. Oh, I see, he said. Then he put his hands around Tamika's face and made her look at him. I love you, he said. I could never, ever look at you like that. No matter what you do, you hear? You sure? Tamika said. As sure as I am that you love me, Grandpa said. Tamika knew she was safe then. Safe enough to hug Grandpa and kiss his sturdy brown face. Grandpa hugged her back. Let's go home now he said. On the way home, Grandpa stopped to talk to an old friend. There's his friend. But Tamika didn't pay any attention to what they were saying. She was much too busy watching a wave of laughter as it spread across her Grandpa's face. Got a big smile, hasn't he? That's the end of the story. Bye-bye.